It's a tale of murder and mystery as thousands of people flock to Moundsville to meet their fears dead in the eyes. Nestled behind ancient burial grounds and where near 1,000 deaths occurred, 7 News reporter Stephanie Grinley wanted to see for herself the stories of the Moundsville Penitentiary, and she took back with her footage that we just can't explain. They begged to please don't let me die in here. Near 12,000 locals head to the pen each year to be scared for fun during the season when leaves shrivel and fall from the trees. But the true horror takes place when the costumes are in storage. I've been here for 20 years and the place is haunted. I'll tell you that. People of the worst sort sat to wait out their days. Demise dreaded to be met inside these cold walls. 998 deaths occurred in the Moundsville Penitentiary. Souls, some say, still linger. Among the wretched lives murdered, a leader of the Aryan Brotherhood, William Red Snyder, was violently stabbed 37 times in his cell. It's in his cell, his voice, that people say they hear the most, but Red is not alone. May of 2004, a woman was staying the night at the pen. She heard a noise, saw a figure, and then captured something, something that now hangs in the museum. There was a solid black shadow standing in front of this door, and it was looking right at her. It seemed to be transparent, and she said it actually looked down at the light on its chest, and it kind of looked back at her. As if that's not strange enough, she continues walking backwards in the hall, raised her Sony camera. She took one photograph, and thankfully she captured the shadow that we call the Shadow Man. Jason, our tour guide, is a spirit enthusiast, uh, you might say. One eerie night of 2012, Jason was walking the dark halls in the north wing, and something blocked the light from his flashlight. Maybe the same solid black shadow, this time ready for a close-up. A human-like figure, best I could describe, walked out sideways from cell 17 and kind of stared me down for about five seconds, and I froze in fear because I thought, I don't want to continue walking towards it. I don't want to turn my back on it. So a few moments later, I decided I'm going to walk out backwards. And the entire time I did that and I got out of sight around the corner, whatever that thing was, was still standing there staring at me. Did you hear that? Jason, Dan, our cameraman, and I stood alone on the fourth floor, the former psych ward. We didn't make that sound, but if not us, then who? The people that don't believe me, I tell them, I say, come spend the night here. It's here. <laughs> it's here. In the Moundsville Penitentiary for 7 News, I'm Stephanie Grindley, working for you. Oh, I'm scared now. Stephanie, I cannot believe you caught all that on camera. So if you are in the mood to be scared, we'll have some links on our website, WTRF.com.